Hey, Andy here from buildahottub.com. In this video, we're gonna look at my Octagon Hot Tub project and an update from California. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so this video, we will catch up with my customer over in California and his Octagon Hot Tub build. So when we left this project, the walls had been formed up and he was ready to move on to the, the actual plumbing of the hot tub. So in this video, we'll be taking a look at how he's getting on with the plumbing and what the current stages of the build are. Now, before we get going, always a great opportunity. You know I like to get this in there to say, please do subscribe to the channel, hit that notification icon to be notified when my videos go live. I do two long form videos just like this every single week, a whole bunch of shorts and everything on this channel focuses on DIY hot tubs plunge pools, parts, and, and pretty much anything in between. So with that out of the way, let's dive in and catch up with the build. So where are we? Well, as you can see behind me here is the start of the control room. Now the control room is where the pumps, the spa pack, the blower, the filter, all of that good stuff is being housed. And is where all of that good stuff is being housed. And you'll notice that the control room is actually below the water line of the tub. And that's really important because if you haven't seen any of my other videos on this channel, you'll notice that I do talk an awful lot now, if you haven't seen any of my other videos on this channel, I do talk an awful lot about the control room position and how important it is. And this is to do with the actual type of pumps that we use. Now, the type of pumps we use are centrifugal pumps, and these are the ones that you can see behind me here. Centrifugal pumps need to be fed water by gravity, so they're not able to, to suck the air to then draw in the water. They can't do that. That's what a self-priming pool pump can do. Centrifugal, you need to get the water in there by gravity, and that's exactly why we have to have the control room. As you can see here, it's at the bottom of the tub. It doesn't need to be right at the bottom, it just needs to be below the water line so that gravity will deliver water to those pumps and make it all nice and easy for it to work. Now we've got a dual pump system here because we're actually gonna use an air source heat pump to heat the tub. It's a really economical way of, of actually doing that. It's exactly the same setup, whether you're gonna use an air source heat pump or whether you choose propane or natural gas, any form of external heater, you really wanna have this dual pump setup that you can see here. So we have a small circulation pump that will do the heating and the filtration. And then we've got the jet pump, which as the name suggests, will power the jets. So that's just the best setup that you can look for. Now, taking a look at the remainder of the plumbing around the tub, as you can see here, it doesn't actually terminate. So what we're doing is we're not going all the way around the, the tub with a continuous loop. We're actually having shoots of pipes that terminate. The reason that we do that is it increases pressure on those jets. Now, the physics behind it is a bit beyond me, but I do know that if you have shorter runs that terminate, the pressure builds up and you get a much higher pressure than if you have a continuous loop that then becomes a manifold that evens out the pressure across all of the jets. So I always tend to opt for straight runs of pipe that terminate just so it can have as much pressure as possible on those jets. And check out the tub, how good does this look? Now the coping tiles are in, the surface is being prepped for the uh, top row of tiles and I'm not entirely sure how how the customer is going to finish the uh, the bottom of the tub yet. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Is he going to paint or is he going to have a, a different style of tile? But that uh, that bar in there or that that baton is is there so that he can tile against that on the uh, on the water line. All of this pipework is going to be covered up by a deck. I think it looks like the walls are in. Again, I can't wait to show you how good this is going to look when it's all done. We can't be too far away from from getting all of those tiles in and eventually filling it full of water and testing. So stay tuned, as I said, do hit subscribe, hit the notification icon to be notified when my videos go live and that way you won't miss any updates on this or any of my other projects. Hopefully you found this short video informative and useful. If you have, 
Let me know in the comments. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments too. Always happy to hear from you. And of course, if I can help you with your DIY build, then please do get in touch either via the website or again, drop me a note in the comments and I'll get back to you. I appreciate the view. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next video. If you've liked this video, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video.